Yeah. Well done. Right. Um, question two. Call on January 2011. Find the values of the constants P and Q if this is true for all values of X. What are we going to do with it? Expand it. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's do that. Let's expand it and then see if we can work it from there. So if we look at the left hand side, we've got um, x minus p times 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. Right, well, what would that be? If we multiply that out, and deliberately I'm going to take a few steps to do this. So that would be x times all of that. Minus p times all of that. And it's worth taking our time just to make sure we get this right. So we've got 2x cubed, it's 9x squared, it's 10x, minus 2px squared. I'm careful of the, the signs here, minus 9px, minus 10p. So all together we've got... 2x cubed. Now, you remember when we're, when we're dealing with algebra, we want to collect together like terms. So we're going to collect together the x squared terms. We've got 9x squared. Take away 2px squared. So we've got 9 minus 2px squared. And the x is, we've got 10 minus 9p x. And then we've got negative 10p at the end. That was the left hand side. Let's do the same thing with the right hand side. Now this really looks like it's a little bit easier to multiply this out because we've only got two brackets each with two terms in them. And so we're going to say 2x cubed plus qx squared, minus 8x, minus 4q. And then, do you remember what we would do with this now? We want to compare coefficients. So if these two sides are equal to each other, there should be the same number of x cubed on both sides. Well, there are, there's 2x cubed and 2x cubed. There should be the same number of x squareds on both sides. Well, here we've got 9 minus 2p, and here we've got q. If you like, what we're looking at here are the x squared bits. That gives us that. If we look at the, um, if we look at the x bit, we've got 10 minus 9p over there. And here we've got negative 8. Sorry? Okay. So we've got this and that, giving us x. And um, we could write it, I'm not sure we're going to need it, but we've also got that minus 10p is minus 4q. I think we will use that as a check at the end. Um, this one, Tom spotted it straight away. This actually gives us that, what, um, 9p is 18, if we rearrange that. So p equals 2 comes straight out of that. If p equals 2, we can sub it into that equation. 9 minus twice p is q. So q equals... And let's, let's do that check just to make sure this is working out okay. We should have that minus 10p is the same as minus 4 times q. Minus 10p is negative 20. Minus 4 times 5 is also negative 20. So I think we're happy with these values of p and q. That was it. And that was your three marks. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry? No, it said four values of x. This is true, four values of x. Find P and Q. Okay.